G'day guys, another huge rig in the workshop this week. It's a 40 foot coach where we're gonna be fitting a 48 volt battery system to it. It'll have 1800 watts of solar, four of those Victron 330 amp hour lithium batteries and a five kVA multi plus going into it. This will be one heck of a system. Meep, meep. All right, we've got heaps of blue Victron gear right here. We have not one, not two, but three DC DC chargers. They'll be taking the 24 volt alternator up to the 48 volt battery system. Between the three of them, we've got 1200 watts of charging per hour. We've got two 35 amp solar controllers, which will control the nine panels going up on the roof. Being 48 volt, we don't need to go quite as large as you would typically have to. Then we've got a 48 to 12 DC DC converter. That'll run all the 12 volt loads that are already wired up around the place. We've got the Lynx distribution system. This will help us with some of our cable management and of course be the BMS for those four batteries we're putting in. Then we've got the 5 kVA multi plus. This will handle all the charging and the inverting for the system. So basically all your 240 volt stuff can be controlled by this fella here. It'll be responsible for powering up those two split system air conditioners. So we've got all the bits here to make a 48 volt system work. Uh, there's a few reasons we choose to go 48 volt or 24 as opposed to 12. One of the big things is when you're working on huge setups like this, the voltage drop is always an enemy. Now by going 48 volt, effectively you can use four times smaller cable to carry the same amount of power. So we can use a lot less copper to achieve the same thing and help avoid a lot of voltage drop that would otherwise be unavoidable in a lower voltage system. So I'm back on the roof of this big coach. Previously I've done a Sat King Promax satellite install. So as you can see, the roof has got a big curve in it. Um, we're not able to use our standard aluminium brackets because the solar panels wouldn't sit correctly. So we've cut down some 100 by 50 aluminium angle mounted that on the side so it props up off the roof and sits properly. So I've installed five 200 watt panels here at the front and then a, another four 200 watt panels at the rear there giving us a total of 1800 watts of solar on the roof. So we'll just take a run through what we've done inside on the big coach. We've installed the Victron Touch GX70 right here. It gives you what power is coming in Obviously we're not plugged into the grid at the moment, so you're not gonna see any watts coming through. You've got your AC loads there at 79 watts, so obviously you've got some sort of 240 volt appliances running. PV charger inside of a shed, so it's not actually displaying any solar at the moment. And just down here is DC power. This system is more than capable to run all the 240 volt appliances in the coach. You've got two split system air conditioners, one in the living room, one in the bedroom. You've also got a dishwasher in the kitchen, you got a washing machine at the back there, and pretty much the customer can run any 240 volt appliances, microwave, kettle, toaster, coffee machine, anything that's in there. Now with this big rig taking up so much space in our workshop, we had all hands on deck. Vince has given you a run through of what we've done on top. Adam's given you a run through of what we've done inside. Now I'll give you a bit of a run through of the electronics area. Come take a look. Here's where we've mounted it all. Now I already had a chat with you at the start about exactly what all the components were. So now I'll have a bit of a talk about how we've connected it all up. So we've had Craig run a big 24 volt line from the starter at the rear, right up to here, onto some poles where we've actually paralleled these three DC DC converters off of it, responsible for the alternator charging. Then we've had Vince run the five panels in series through this solar controller, four panels in series through this solar controller. Now we're really taking advantage of that series to get the voltage nice and high to one save on voltage drop, as I mentioned earlier. But of course, having it at a higher voltage too means the solar gets started up earlier in the morning and finishes later in the afternoon. We're not too worried about the shading that would normally be a problem with series connections, simply because the bus is so high and the big open areas of space up there really lend themselves to, to open sun, I suppose. So you're not worried about it being shaded all the time by other things on the roof like you might have on a typical caravan, such as aerials and air cons and stuff like that. Coming up here, I mentioned that we were doing the link setup at first, uh, at the start of the video, to save on cable management and stuff like that. Effectively, we've used this as one big bus bar for all of the connections I'm sure you can imagine we've made hidden under all this ducting here. Of course, we got the servo over here, the brain of the system. Now, a big part of this one too is they've recently released an update, uh, Victron has, that lets you control relays based on temperature probes that you can connect up to this servo. Now, we've taken advantage of that by running two big fans connected up to vents we've installed on the side of this door that closes on here. And it'll be responsible for moving all of the heat that this system will be creating under load out into the open and keeping everything in the air cool. Over here, we've got the 48 to 12 DC DC converter. That little fella's responsible for running the 12 volt loads around the coach. So the customer's got a pair of 12 volt fridges on the other side, he's got 12 volt lighting throughout. So that little guy there is responsible for keeping all the 12 volt stuff running, as well as some of his auxiliary stuff on his dash area that needs the 12 volt power. 
Now a big part of this system is the 5 kVA inverter we've got in here. It's a Multi Plus 2 from Victron. This fella here is going to be responsible for running all the AC loads around the coach, as well as charging that big battery system we've got in there. Now it's a 48 volt, 330 amp battery system with a 70 amp charger. That can really punch the power in if it needs to be charged off 240. What's great about this system is unlike a typical caravan where you're governed by that 16 amp inlet, this system here, we've run a heavier cable up to the dedicated subboard, which has separate circuits, and it actually allows the customer and the owner of this setup to use more than 16 amps at once. He's actually got more power off the grid than most caravans have on the grid. Now to give you some numbers that you can sort of compare this system to, so you get a bit of a scale, an idea of the scale of this system, it can actually charge between the solar and the alternators at 3,000 watts per hour. So while it's driving along in clear sun, it's putting 3,000 watts into that battery bank. Now for those of you more used to talking in 12 volt and amps, that's about 300 amps going in per hour as he's driving down the road. And of course, if he really needs to charge up quick and he's plugged into mains, vehicle running and sitting in the sun, he's actually getting over 500 amps going in at once, at 12 volt of course. So if you're after a 12 volt system, a 24 volt system, or a 48 volt system, whether you just want to run your fridge or you want to run two split system air conditioners, give us a call at Solar and Sat Bundaberg and we'll get you sorted. Meep, meep.